number of different visa categories that are uh, up for discussion today that relate to um, working and uh, doing business in Hong Kong. And the first is the employment visa, which is based on a third party offering a job to a foreign national. And in those circumstances, the immigration department apply an approvability test to that situation. And what they do is they ask, does the applicant possess special skills, knowledge, or experience of value to and not readily available in Hong Kong? And moreover, the sponsor, that's the local party seeking to employ that foreign national, must be justified in engaging the services of the foreign national staff rather than those of a local person instead. So there is a, a, a tension at play in the uh, employment visa based on a job offer. Now, in the main, if you are operating a business in France and you have some kind of business presence in Hong Kong, or you're thinking of establishing some kind of business presence in Hong Kong, and you need to relocate talent from France to Hong Kong to promote your business endeavors in Hong Kong. In that intercompany transferee situation, 99 times out of 100, the immigration department will say yes. The expectation of the personal qualities of the individual applicant are those that you would typically expect. You expect them to have a good education. If they haven't got a formal university education, that doesn't um, preclude the visa from being approved. Because if you can show that the candidate has at least five years senior managerial responsibility working for either your company or a similar company, then the fact of that prior employment experience in a senior managerial capacity will um, do away with the need for a formal uh, tertiary education, for example. Um, the immigration department do not expect that every company that wants to employ a foreign national has to go and f physically look for that talent in the Hong Kong workforce. So there is no need to be artificially advertising for the position, either if it's an intercompany transferee, or indeed if you have a local, if you have a foreign national candidate who's manifestly qualified, manifestly experienced to do that particular job, you will find the immigration department do not, ex do not encourage you, sorry, the immigration department will not force you to look for that talent locally. And the, 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 the rule typically is the greater the salary, the greater the title, the greater the responsibility um, inherent in the role, the less problem you're going to have with the immigration department in satisfying them that they do possess special skills, knowledge and experience of value to are not readily available in Hong Kong, and also that that talent cannot be found from within the local workforce. There are about 17,000 employment visas issued each year in Hong Kong to foreign nationals, and about 25,000 that are issued to mainland Chinese that come to Hong Kong under a similar program. So if you are a mainland Chinese and you want to take up employment here, you use a program called the Admission of Mainland Talents and Professionals. And this is a program that um, is designed to keep out all those mainland Chinese other than those that are exceptionally well experienced and exceptionally well qualified. And a similar set of approval criteria apply to foreign nationals that, uh, that are going to be taking up employment with a third party employer. So this is the uh, employment visa based on a job offer with an independent third party employer.